listen to Pep Talk with Wendy Summers. This portion of the Pensacola Expert Panel is sponsored and presented by The Financial Future Show and your host, Eric Niederlener, who is responsible for the content. Views expressed do not necessarily represent those of News Radio 1620. I just love that part of the song. i got to let it play through. <laughs> 934, welcome to the Financial Future Show with Eric Needleiner. And how are you doing, Eric? I'm doing well. It's another Monday, trying to get the week off to a good start. It's good to be here. Hopefully we'll have some callers this week. 437-1620 is the number. And what would people be calling to ask you about? Whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> it's open mic night or, really? or, or morning. Like uh, marriage advice? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Never been married, so I can't give you that. All can't right. can't speak from experience. Well, well what is your website? It's uh, shouldifileforbankruptcy.com. Okay. Should I file for bankruptcy.com and give us a call. Eric is a bankruptcy attorney and helps out with the, there's different kinds of bankruptcy and we've talked about those before and we'll talk about them again today in case this is the first time you're catching the show. But if you're in a situation where you don't know, should I file? Should I not? 437-1620 is the number and Eric can help you out and kind of uh, get the plan going <coughs> for you. Right. When you start seeing the warning signs where you're, you know, using cash advances or doing the balance transfer game um, to pay off one credit card or move it to another one just to get the lower interest rate. And, you know, you're paying your mortgage, you're paying your your food bill uh, with credit cards. You've been out of work. Um, those are all warning signs that, uh, you you know, troubles ahead and you, you need to, um, I guess, troubles here, <laughs> but uh, you need to uh, look into bankruptcy or look into your options and and you know try to try to get ahead of the game and um, um, sort out sort out sort out your your options before it gets really bad and you know ignoring it will not make it go away. Uh, not answering the phones or opening the letters from the collection agencies aren't going to make it go away. So. Um, you know, I encourage people if they they think bankruptcy may be a um, option for them to give us a call, and um, we'll be glad to talk to them and sort through their situation and and give them some give them some options they may have. Should I file for bankruptcy.com and don't get that confused because you got to get the four in there. There's right. other websites and you want to make sure you get Eric's because it's jam packed with information and he's not going to be asking you for money on the website and you got to be careful because some of these websites are a little shady that way. Um, you do have free consultations, which I we think do. is amazing <coughs> because, um, it's hard to get to a lawyer for a free consultation anymore. So the fact that you do that is uh, very nice. And the number, you have an 800 number? Yes, it's 877-607-2228. And uh, we like to do in-office consultations, but we do do phone consultations on normally Monday and Tuesdays after, after 5. But uh, we have a bankruptcy intake form. And if you do a phone consultation, you have to fill that out prior to getting a call from me. So we have your information, and we can sit down and talk over the phone. Uh, I'd like to like you to fill that out before you come in because we're going to have you fill out the same thing once you're there, and hopefully with you sitting in your your computer desk, uh, you know it'll be in more detail and and more accurate information, so I can give you better advice. And we're tossing around an idea. We haven't worked out all the details, or very few of the details, actually. But we're going to do a bankruptcy seminar one weekend and have it at a local hotel. And um, people will be able to sign up. And next show, we'll, we'll have more details, hopefully. So those that are working and don't want to do a phone consultation but can't make it in, you know, 9 to 5 for a, a consultation, hopefully can come one Saturday and... and um, you know, we'll have a big, I guess, mass consultation and then meet individually with everybody and 
and um, go over their individual situations. So we'll, we'll get more details on that and announce it um, announce it here. So I guess this is breaking news. Yeah, this <laughs> just in. Do, 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 do. That's awesome, Eric. I think that's a great idea. And so when are you looking at doing that? Like late August or September? Uh, probably sometime in September. Okay. So it just depends on when we can get a conference room and where we're going to have it and work all, all the details. But it will be in Pensacola and um, start it out here and see see how it um, how it goes and what type of reception we get from it and, and go from there. We may have it at, at some of our other cities that we have offices in or uh, maybe a few that we, we don't have offices in. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you crack me up. You're just so easygoing. You're actually a perfect bankruptcy attorney because people come in and they're probably so stressed out, aren't they? Uh, a lot of times, especially when it's been a while and they've, you know, they're getting credit creditors calling them from eight o'clock in the morning until nine o'clock at night, um, Monday through Sunday, really. And um, yeah, I mean, it's it's it can be stressful. I tell them, you know, not to not worry about it, but it's it's easier said than done. Uh, one thing when they do retain me they can refer their creditors to my office and that takes off uh, takes a load off them and it's you can just a lot of times when they come into talking just see the stress kind of leave them um, once they realize maybe it's not as bad as they they once thought or there there are options out there and um, just talking about it helps yeah I, I, it's like a little not it's kind of like Lynn earlier you know although therapy is not your <laughs> specialty right you're kind of having to do that a little bit and people are stressed out when they're having to file bankruptcy and having money issues money money is uh you know it's important it's you know it's not everything everybody's like money's not everything and no it's not but it's everything if it's controlling your life and you have credit card debt out the yin yang and you you know you're going through a divorce <coughs> and you you know, there's just so many things. Maybe your house is being repossessed. Your car's been hauled off in the middle of the night. I mean, horrible things are happening to people like this, and they need someone to uh, to help them. And you're that guy. I try to be. And, um, you know, it's. I had a lady come in last week. She was referred by a, another client. And um, her situation was that she was... Um, she was elderly. She was just getting Social Security. Had no assets in her name, not even a not even a vehicle. Um, and you know, I told her that she could file bankruptcy, and it would it would clear out everything. Uh, it would get the creditors to stop calling. But um, she had the option of not doing anything because there wasn't anything that the creditors could could get from her. They can't garnish her Social Security, so. Uh, she was kind of judgment proof. I mean, they could sue her. They can. They can call. Suggested changing her number and um, you know, not worrying about it. But she was, you know, up in her age. She was embarrassed, I guess, to go to her her daughter and ask for help. But she finally, you know, couldn't do it. And these creditors were just every time they'd call, she was end up hanging up the phone in tears because you know Aww. they're telling her what a deadbeat she is and all this kind of stuff and you know it's 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 hard when you've got medical bills and you know your your only source of income is social security and that check isn't that much and uh you've got to pay medication and and all that kind of stuff um you know it it was it was hard but at least she finally told her daughter what was going on and they kind of I think took over the checkbook and everything. <laughs> Good. Because, um, you know, she was trying to make these payments and she wasn't eating because she was sending out, you know, $25 to credit card companies. That, that $25 wasn't doing anything, but, you know, it wasn't even stopping the phone calls. They were still calling every day. Oh, my gosh. That's so Nine, terrible. ten times a day. So, um, I don't know what, sh what her ultimate decision is going to be about filing or, or just not filing but you know, she did have those options so I, you know I'm I don't tell everybody to file bankruptcy 
when they come in. Yeah, I make a living by people filing bankruptcy, but I try to give you all your options. And if that's not filing bankruptcy, it's not filing bankruptcy. And, um, you know, let you make make the decision being fully informed, um, you know, giving you my best uh, advice and, and trying to look out for, for the people coming into my office. Right. 437-1620, give us a call if you have any questions at all. And like you said, you, if people don't need to file bankruptcy, then that's great. Um, if, but if they do, then you're going to be there to get them through it. And, you know, of course you don't want people to have to do that. But the reality is uh, th that they need to. <laughs> it does happen. And uh, it is happening now. So uh, we welcome your phone calls at 437-1620. And uh, as far as, like, have you had a busy week this past week? A lot of people coming in? It was a busy week. Um, I didn't have any court this Well, maybe I had something on Monday. It's too far off to remember. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I did have something over in Mobile on Monday. But, um, yeah, it was a.